Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, we will learn how to solve a Rubik's Cube. But first, we must learn how to solve the upper cross. So I had made a video on how to make the second layer. So if you haven't already seen that, go check it out in the description. So let's start. So what is a upper cross? So all these nine pieces of white, these six pieces of blue, these six pieces of orange, these six pieces of green, these six pieces of red comprise the second layer. So what's new in the upper cross? In the upper cross, I make a cross of yellow, which is the opposite color of white. So let's see how to do that. So there is a formula in order to solve the upper cross. So what is the formula? Let's see. So if I hold my Rubik's cube like this, and I rotate this face. So if I rotate this face clockwise, I'll call it face clockwise. And if I rotate it anti-clockwise, I call it face anti-clockwise. So this is face clockwise. And this is face anti-clockwise. Now let's see what is upper clockwise. So if I rotate this clockwise I call it upper clockwise and if I rotate it like this this is called upper anti-clockwise now next if I rotate this right clockwise I call it right clockwise so this is right clockwise and next I'll call it right anti-clockwise so this is right anti-clockwise so let's revise this is face clockwise this is face anti-clockwise this is upper clockwise this is upper anti-clockwise this is right clockwise and this is right anti-clockwise so let's do the formula so what is the formula the formula is phase clockwise so it consists of six steps so step one phase clockwise step two upper clockwise step 3 right clockwise step 4 upper anti clockwise step 5 right anti clockwise step 6 face anti clockwise So I haven't got a 9 o'clock so I'll do that formula again so when I get a 9 o'clock I'll hold it at 9 o'clock position and then I'll do the formula to get a full cross so I haven't got a 9 o'clock as you can see I haven't got a 9 o'clock so I'll do that formula again so the formula is phase clockwise upper clockwise right clockwise upper anti clockwise right anti clockwise face anti clockwise so let's see if we haven't got a nine o'clock yes if i keep it like this i'll get a nine o'clock so now if i do that formula i'll get a cross so we'll keep on doing it maximum three times so when we have done that formula three times we will have gotten a cross even before that we can get a cross but let's see now if we get a cross or not so i have held it at nine o'clock 
let's do it phase clockwise upper clockwise right clockwise upper anti clockwise right anti clockwise phase anti clockwise so let's see yes 1 2 3 4 5 Four, five. It's a cross. Now let's try it one more time. I've done that cross. Now let's practice. So now I have it like this. Let's do that formula. Let's count the number of steps. How many times it's taken us to make that cross? So maximum I have to do that formula thrice. Let's see. We hold these two layers and then we do that. face clockwise upper clockwise right clockwise upper anti clockwise right anti clockwise face anti clockwise so we have done that formula once and what do we get we get a straight line we we'll do that formula again because we haven't got 9 o'clock so let's do it face clockwise upper clockwise right clockwise upper anti clockwise right anti clockwise face anti clockwise we have done that formula twice Have we got in a nine o'clock? Let's rearrange it. So I'm aligning it currently. Yes. Now I've got a nine o'clock. All these four corner pieces don't matter. I just need a nine o'clock like this. This is my nine o'clock. So now I've got a nine o'clock. I align it like a nine o'clock, and then I do that formula again. So this is my third time. I should get across this time. Face. clockwise upper clockwise right clockwise upper anti clockwise right anti clockwise face anti clockwise wow that's a wonderful cross if you have any queries leave it down in the comments below we will be sure to answer them and also please subscribe to the channel